sometimes life can get really freaking serious. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. You, we all have those days where sometimes it feels like a freaking slog. Nothing seems to be going right. Everything's annoying. <laughs> Technology breaks down, stuff happens, you get cut off in traffic, whatever. Sometimes tragedy can strike. And when these things happen, it can be difficult to keep up on our spiritual practices. It can be hard to stay positive. It can be hard to remember the magic in life when we're in the shit and things seem really hard. But when we're in these moments, it's important to remember that though it sucks right now, these things will pass. This too shall pass. What helps when things get heavy and serious is bringing your mind back into the present moment. Now that can be with something that you carry on you, like a rock or a crystal or a ring that you can play with. But even with those things, sometimes we can get too attached to the material things. And then if we don't have them, we can feel off kilter. So what I've been finding helpful, and I know I keep talking about it, is coming back to the breath. Honestly, this has become my main coping mechanism for when shit gets wild, is coming back to the breath. And I'll give you guys a little bit of backstory on me as well, okay? Because it can seem when you're on someone's YouTube channel like they've got it all figured out and whatever, but I assure you, I don't have it all figured out. I'm not all composed all the time. I still get triggered. I still freak out sometimes. I still get angry and annoyed. But what I've found is that over the years, I've replaced a lot of unhealthy coping mechanisms with meditation and breath work. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'll tell you, back in the day, my coping mechanisms were being a workaholic, having some drinks, smoking some weed, <laughs> or running, moving to another town, or like planning some trip, spending money. I used to shop a lot. And that was kind of any time that I would feel uncomfortable, I would go to one of these things. And over the years, I've learned and just, you know, watched myself and how I react and started replacing these coping mechanisms with something more healthy for me, which is breathing. So the other day I actually had an anxiety attack and I still could feel myself wanting to go to these coping mechanisms. Oh my God, I just want to drink or, you know, I want to smoke. Oh, I just want this thing so that I can feel better. But in the moment, I caught myself thinking these things. I was like, okay, what I really want from these coping mechanisms is a feeling of security. <laughs> I feel like I'm on shaky ground and I want something to make me feel more secure and grounded. Okay, that's what's happening. Now I can breathe. Now I can come back into my body, into this moment, check in, breathe into where the anxiety lives. For me, it's like right here and in my guts. <laughs> but in that moment, checking in and breathing into the tense places and reminding myself that it's okay. That this too shall pass. That this moment is temporary. This feeling is temporary. I'm gonna be okay. And usually, things start to dissipate. And if that doesn't work, 
then I exercise, <laughs> especially like if it's anxiety. Sometimes I just need to move and move the energy. So I just wanted to share that with you just to let you know, just because you're feeling a less than desirable emotion does not make you any less spiritual or enlightened. It doesn't say that you're going backwards on your path at all. Remember the spiral journey that I talked about? I'll link to it here, here for you. The main point I'm trying to drive home here is to have compassion for yourself if you're in the middle of some crap and you're feeling feels about it. It's okay. It's, it's human. It's part of the human experience to feel these things and to learn how to deal with them. This is the self-mastery. This is the journey. The journey is learning new things about yourself, learning new ways of dealing with things, learning new ways to perceive the world. This is awakening. It's, it's funny, I realized in the last while how actually practical and realist a spiritual awakening is. Yeah, we can open ourselves up to other dimensions of consciousness and explore different realms, but the real gritty work of a spiritual awakening is being in this 3D experience, witnessing the changes, witnessing the self-mastery, learning from what's being reflected back to us in our reality, and taking responsibility for our experience of that. And this is a great way to practice self-love and, and, compa and having compassion for ourselves. These are the moments when we need love the most, is when life is super serious and we feel bogged down. That's when we need love. And that's why we can reach for not so great coping mechanisms is because a lot of them release dopamine. We're reaching for these things because we want to feel better than the way we're feeling now. <laughs> so learning to sit with ourselves and be with ourselves in these hard moments strengthens us mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And when we practice being that steadiness for ourselves and showing ourselves compassion in those moments when we might feel weak or whatever label we want to slap on ourselves in the moment when we're emotional and vulnerable. That's what can affect some real change. So if life is feeling real serious for you right now, know that this too shall pass, this feeling shall pass, and there's nothing wrong with your experience. There's nothing wrong about how you feel in this moment. It's just how you feel in this moment. And you can choose to keep feeling it, or you can choose to feel something else. You can, you can choose. Every moment we have a choice. I know I say this a lot, but every moment we have a choice. Whether we want to make our experience more serious or take some of the pressure off and allow ourselves to be however we are in this moment right now with whatever's going on. Anyways, I hope this message was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you get notified of when I put out new videos. Sending you all tons and tons of love and I'll talk to you soon.